how to change your story. What do I mean by how to change your story? Well, it's been said if you want to change your life, you have to change your story. It's almost as if our lives are like a movie that we're writing, producing, directing, and starring in. We forget that when you live a story, what you don't realize is you have the choices within you to change how your story goes. For those of us in recovery, we have to be able to handle the story that we're writing. Every good story has certain elements. You have to have some conflict. You have to have some enemies, an external enemy, a close enemy, and an internal enemy. Good stories, they have to help you overcome an adversity to force you to change, to grow, and become a better person in the end. In fact, there's really only two types of stories. There are the stories that are an example of winning and overcoming, and then there's the stories that are warnings. So, which story do you want to be? Do you want to be an example of overcoming and winning? Or, you want to be in a story that people use as a warning. Don't let your life go down this trajectory. You have to overcome these outside obstacles. Naturally, when you watch a really good movie, like Star Wars, you see there are many external enemies for Luke, the hero. He has to face two external enemies, the Empire and the Emperor. He also has a close enemy, Darth Vader, who turns out to be his father. And not only does he have to overcome these, he also has internal demons as well. He's irresponsible. He's quick, he takes action too quickly. He's quick to anger. Now these things, he has to learn to master through the course of the movie. And of course he changes into the mature, sensible, powerful, natural man he always meant to be. We see that in the last movie of the original trilogy when he turns off the lightsaber and refuses to go to the dark side. He says he would rather die. Now that's the story of overcoming and mastering things. Now, those of us in recovery, we have external enemies we must overcome. We have alcohol, the drugs, the industry, the bars, and the drug dealers. Now we can easily begin to manage these outside enemies, but then there's those close enemies. For many of us, it might be a family member. But for most of us, it's people we think that are our friends. Now these people want to keep us in that cycle of addictions. It's one of the reasons we say you have to change your playmates and your playpens. Once we overcome these outside enemies, we have to start on those inner demons. And for most of us in recovery, the strongest inner demon we have to conquer is that idea of, I can handle it, it'll be different this time, or it won't happen again. Another big demon we have to slay is switching addictions. I'll quit drinking and only smoke pot. Or, I'll quit using drugs and only drink. And, the ever-present, I'll stop drinking hard liquor and only drink beer. Now, at that point, as I like to say, you're switching seats on the Titanic. The ship's going down, it's only a matter of when. We really have to slay these inner demons so we can become the person we always wanted to be. I always say it takes the heart of a warrior to overcome an addiction because you have to face the mirror image of who and what you really are. Only when you can do that can you really grow. Now one of the things we do at Live Free Training is to help you rewrite your story from where you are right now because the rest of it hasn't been written yet. Do you want to write a story of happiness, success, and being a great example of what can be achieved? Or do you want to write an example that people use to tell others you don't want to go down this path because it doesn't end well. The choice is yours, and it's our job to help you get there.